Hi, and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamara Falansky. And I'm John Hamilton. Together, we'll tell you the latest industry news. We'll give you a sneak peek at what PressTech has in store for IPEX. But that's not all. Let's take a look at what else is coming up. HP's Indigo division has its most productive month ever. GASC and Cal Poly partner up for Graph Expo. And we'll take a look behind the cover of Photo Booking. IPEX 2010 is less than two months away, and show organizers report almost 150 lithographic press manufacturers will take up over one-third of the net floor space. The International Exhibition opens May 18th in Birmingham, England. Goss, KBA, Kimori, Press Tech, Mitsubishi, Ryobi, and Heidelberg are among the major offset exhibitors. IPEX event director Trevor Crawford says Feedback from exhibitors indicates that visitors can expect innovative new equipment at the show with a strong focus on automation, productivity, and added value options to help printers stay competitive and create new business opportunities in this tough market. PressTech will demonstrate the new PressTech 75DI digital offset press. This larger format direct imaging press continues PressTech's DI tradition of 300 LPI or stochastic screening, consistent quality and automation. It also has a small environmental footprint with waterless printing technology, chemistry-free imaging on press, and fast run-up with minimal waste. Jeff Jacobson, PressTech's chairman, President and CEO says we are excited about bringing to market this latest addition to our robust line of digital offset presses, adding it is in line with our overall strategy of serving larger printing companies while continuing to bring high valuable solutions to market that will enable our base of customers to expand their operations. We shared some pre-IPEX news from leading inkjet manufacturers in our March 3rd cast, which you can find in the archives. Continued HP Indigo customer momentum has yielded double-digit annual page growth. That's on top of a 47% increase in photo specialty page output during the 2009 peak season, compared to the same three-month period in 2008. HP Indigo customers printed more than 10 billion four-color letter-sized pages in 2009, a 13% year-over-year increase that led HP to a seventh consecutive record year in total annual page volume. Alan Barshani, Vice President and General Manager of the Indigo Division says, HP Indigo's best measure of performance for last year is the way we help customers grow in one of the most difficult economies the graphic arts industry has ever faced. New generation press models and ultra-efficient workflow and customer support solutions significantly boosted our customers' productivity, enabling them to print more while lowering their relative total cost of ownership. December 2009 was the most productive month ever in HP Indigo history. Monthly HP Indigo impressions for Europe, the Middle East, Africa and the Americas passed the 1 billion mark for the first time. For the full story, visit AmericanPrinter.com slash news. InfoTrends has released its document outsourcing forecast for 2008 to 2013, providing strategic, financial and statistical information that brings to light a number of compelling opportunities for print service providers and their customers. InfoTrends expects the document outsourcing market to start to bounce back as the effects of the economy diminish, with revenues beginning to rebound in the outer years of the forecast period. According to the report, with the economy stabilizing, companies are starting to refocus their attention on core business strategies and engage external assistance for non-core areas such as document and business communication services. However, InfoTrend cites significant changes in the way businesses engage with printers as companies increasingly approach service providers in the form of a partnership for a total business solution rather than the more traditional procurement-driven model. As InfoTrend's research has shown, service providers who demonstrate business process-oriented focus, solid return on investment and flexibility will be in the best position to succeed. Get the full details from the 41-page report at InfoTrends.com. Pantone is reducing the price of Pantone Go products to make them more affordable for all designers and printers to incorporate into their workflows. Providing a broader palette of 2,058 spot colors, the Go system is chromatically arranged for intuitive color selection and is specially formulated with a set of 10 base inks that are readily available worldwide. 
With its broad range of colors, Go is formulated to closely match those colors in print, ensuring accurate color across all promotional activities. Find the new Pantone Go pricing in our story at AmericanPrinter.com slash news. GASC is partnering with the Graphic Communication Institute of California Polytechnic State University, also known as the GRCI, to produce the conference portion of Graph Expo 2010. It's in an effort to add a new dimension to the show's educational offerings. Attendees will benefit from the knowledge and expertise of one of the most respected collegiate graphic communications departments. Conference sessions will emphasize how to take the greatest advantage of the latest industry trends and technologies, offer practical methods to boost profits and lower cost, and reveal innovative business ideas for getting ahead of the competition. The nearly 50 seminars will span 20 subject categories and in-depth executive level sessions and hands-on building workshops will serve 11 distinct market segments. The educational conference will take place from October 3rd to 5th at Chicago's McCormick Place and for more information visit graphexpo.com. Good afternoon, this is Ray Prince again for American Printer TV. I write for the magazine and write a Tech Tips column and would like to share a number of ideas with you. I've talked in the past about closed loop color control on web offset presses. And at the AVT booth, which is a company based in Israel that bought GMI here, uh, it was based out of California a few years ago. They put the two technologies together and one of the classic GMI technologies has been ColorQuick. ColorQuick allows you on a web offset press uh, be it heat set or non heat set press, to scan the color bar while the press is indeed running and control density plus or minus the tolerance that you select. Now, I had a little demonstration of their newest version here a while ago, and it was rather surprising to me that on a major web offset press running in excess of 2,500 feet per hour, we could actually control color within a delta E of four. That is very close color. And keep in mind, the tolerance that many t people talk about is you know, a delta E of five for sheet fed, and here we are on a major web offset press, controlling within four. This is what the operator would see. He can tell right away if he's out of control, but basically the machine itself is controlling. The spectrophotometer does scan the web and make the adjustments automatically for you. This makes for faster make ready time, as well as better run control and better color control during the run. Keep that in mind for web. The digital camera has sparked a new generation of photo archiving. The photo book brings a new dynamic to consumers, commercial printers and equipment manufacturers. From glossy wedding albums to high-end marketing pieces, photo books reign as the new standard in photo archiving. John Jacobson, president of On Demand Machinery, says after the initial surge of interest in producing photo books, many printers have now started to focus on producing books of a better quality. An example of this would be the migration from desktop systems that are dependent on proprietary supplies, which usually are sold by equipment suppliers. Mueller Martinis, Jim Cayley, manager of the company's book and publication binding division, agrees, adding customers who purchase photo books are looking for top quality, fast turnaround time and product consistency. They also want an easy to use interface that allows them to customize the books to individual preferences without confusing or frustrating the customer. Looking for the latest in photo book binders? Check out the article Preserve Your Memories in American Printer's March Issue, available at AmericanPrinter.com. Mm -hmm. And while you're there, why not take a look at the cast archives? They can be found by clicking right above this player. And feel free to also send us any comments or story ideas. See you next time.